the round table. Gentlemen, Aye. let's broaden our minds. Lay on, gentlemen, and let them know what's what. Fire at will. Yeah. It's time for action, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the round table. What's the topic of discussion? Civility, gentlemen. Always civility. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, ready? what do you guys want to do? Do you want to do an improv game? What are you talking about? Micah? What are you talking about? Improv about? game. <laughs> improv us. Uh, what? This whole fucking thing's an improv game. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. You're making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> uncomfortable is good for energy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone close your eyes. It's time for a guided meditation. Uh, You're in a spooky ghost house and your nuts are big and brown. Oh yeah, that's true. You go to the you go it's Halloween, it's time to go to the spooky nut house. I mean ghost house. Ooh, I'm a ghost. You hear in the distance, you're gonna go inspect it. You walk into a room, there's poopy on the walls. You say, hello, is there a ghost in here? Oh, just recently murdered. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so fucking scared of it. And then a guy jumps out with a chainsaw, and you fucking suck his dick. <laughs> oh, no. He drops, he drops the chainsaw, and he says, now that you've done this for me, uh, this is how you kill the ghost. Don't listen to the man with the chainsaw. Mm. He is a very That's horny the ghost. man. And then he says, ah, the only way to kill the ghost is to say the secret words. And you're like, what are the secret words? And then he dies. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then the fucking ghost sucks your dick. Everyone opens your eyes. It's back over for the round table, gentlemen. We're watching football. Go Knowles! <laughs> All right, welcome to the round table, gentlemen, everybody. I would say the Seminoles, FSU, Florida State University, they won a game against Notre Dame yesterday, but nobody thinks they deserve to win. What do you mean no one thinks they deserve to win? A lot of bad call. No, no it wasn't a bad call. It was a great, it was a great it was a call. call. Yeah. All right. Well, that's your all of uh, all of yours opinions. I mean, there. it's just blatant, you know, pass interference. F L R O I D A S T A T E. For state, for state, for state. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that, you fucker? <laughs> you piece of shit. Do you have a fight song for the dumb college you went to? What was the college? We didn't have a football team. Oh, Wisconsin. We eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> That was shit that? name. Yeah. Welcome to the round table of gentlemen, everybody. Uh, let's see. We're missing Jackie, but she's been replaced. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Racine is here. It's a pleasure to see you, buddy. I'm Ed Larson. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! oh. All right, I'm enough. holding Go Knowles McNeely. <laughs> you didn't even know you were watching a football game. Holden Nader's the worst person to watch football with ever. Right. <laughs> I was doing the cheer every time, even when we messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That's why I didn't go, man. Ed invited me. He's like, yo, we're watching at Kizzle's house. I'm like, nope. I'm going to sit next to the whole and watch it the whole time. Way too stressful, man. I got real fucking high for it. <laughs> yes, you did. So did I. <laughs> Uh, Kevin Barnett, I'm it. <laughs> All right, and we, uh, Micah, Micah Sherman, you're here as well. Shermanators, Sherman! Oh, oh no. Squeal. No. I love it. Yes. Yes. Sherman, I like this. I'm on board wow. immediately. <laughs> this is amazing. Good job. Where, uh, how many Shermanators are you strong right now? Oh, God. One. You got a lady. That's I'm, not bad. I have a lady. Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah, man. I'm a Shermanator. Oh, yeah, the Shermanators, man, they find the eggs. They find the eggs? Yeah, the Sherm. Sherm? Like sperm. I don't know. I'm trying to help you out. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. Nobody's a Shermanator that doesn't exist and it never will exist. I Do not make a Facebook page about it. Do not reference Micah Sherman in your Facebook page. If he's, you do... He's a, he's a three-time nominee for Round Table of the Year. It does. Don't make a Facebook page called the Shermanators about Micah Sherman and how he's, like, cooler than a Holdenator. A Seminole is a Native American. <laughs> that is fine. <laughs> All right, Marcus. Uh, what's a news story? 
A Florida man today took a stuffed animal off a Walmart shelf. No, I literally, what is a news story? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to this earth before. A Florida man today took a stuffed animal off a Walmart shelf and then used the toy to masturbate before returning the ejaculate-covered item to a store shelf. Ooh, the re- what's wrong with that, man? He put it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think if you come on it, you have to buy it. It's I like if you, you broke yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, if you come on it, you got to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. come or break it, it you got to buy it. But how many things in the store? Is it a Walmart? There's a Walmart. How many things in the Walmart aren't come down, man? <laughs> <laughs> Most things. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just great to be white, though, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody shot him or anything? He no. Just gets, that's what that's what your life is like when you're white. You just get to come on stuffed horses willy-nilly. Good point. Good point. Damn, man. I didn't know... I knew it was great, but not <laughs> that. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah, Mike, keep it down in front of Kevin. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to expose all of the wonderful privileges we do get. Right. Hey, man, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, though, man. I'm just a dreamer. <laughs> the repulsive episode occurred around 3 p.m. at a Why Walmart are they putting their in opinions Brunsville. in it? Repulsive episode. What's that? Keep your opinions out of the story. Yeah, where is <laughs> where is true facts. journalism? Yeah, yeah really. Mike. It's a smoking gun. Uh, yeah, this, yeah. How many episodes are in this series, by the way? <laughs> Of which one? This. Round table? No. This is a repulsive episode? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. oh. I want to see more episodes. <laughs> well, sometimes he just goes and cuddles a steak and yeah, puts yeah. that back. That's sort of a sensitive one. You know. <laughs> yep. Happened around 3 p.m. at a Walmart in Brooksville. According to a police report, Sean Johnson, 19, selected a brown, tan, and red stuffed horse from the clearance shelf. Selected shell. like he's a, like <laughs> a, a, a <laughs> businessman who went to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What today. shall I have today? Oh, uh, yes. Inanimate <laughs> objects that I will force to see my dick. Yes. Well, no, that's the thing, though, man. Like, whichever kid picked out that one after him should feel special because they know it's the best one. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> he comes in, they select it. <laughs> He took That's the, how they find kids who are ready to have, you know, be pedof- be, be victims. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the ones who pick the cum covered <laughs> stuffed animals. Yeah. Oh, those are the ones. Dude. Is that racist? That was tasteless. Tasteless. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Are we still here? Mike Racine just called somebody tasteless. <laughs> Eddie. What? You need to apologize. <laughs> I don't even know why. Who do I apologize to? I apologize the to Mike world. America. The, the, America. The world. Yeah. Listen, everybody, I didn't mean it. Receipt can't be calling you tasteless. I mean, it was just like something that happened and I said, and I didn't mean it, and Mike's right, and thank you, Mike, for calling me out and, like, exposing the bad person I am. Yes, I mean, his his morals are on par with a White Castle burger when it comes to taste. I mean, absolutely, this is disgusting, Eddie. Good work. I'm I, sorry, guys. I want that wet horse. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, let me uh, introduce you to my priest buddy. <laughs> <laughs> there had to be a Native American named Wet Horse at some point. <laughs> now, my thing is, didn't we all, when we were younger and we were exploring, we rubbed our ourselves on stuffed animals. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's not young, though, this guy. How old is he? Uh, he's 19. Oh, oh that's... You know, you know, he could be a little behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you took the stuffed horse from the clearance shelf in the garden apartment. He then went the to the... Clearance the shelf? The clearance shelf? The clearance shelf? complaining? It's not even a hot toy. Right. He then went to the comforter aisle. This guy aisle. has low self-esteem. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, he looks like a fucking... He, wishes, say, he, like, he wishes he was a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you say it was in the garden aisle? It was in the garden aisle, yeah. And then he went to the comforter aisle. He went to the comforter aisle in the housewares section, proceeded to pull out his genitals. The comforter aisle in the housewares section. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening in this Walmart? Yeah. Get some organization. <laughs> he then proceeded to pull out his genitals and, quote, proceeded to hump the stuffed horse utilizing short, fast movements. Well, that's his problem. You don't need to pull out all your genitals no. to do this. Yeah. No, you, you can just don't. pull out one genital. Just the yeah. tip, baby. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Uh, the Ludak was captured by surveillance cameras, and after Johnson achieved an orgasm and ejaculated on the stuffed horse's he chest got it area, done, huh? he ejaculated on the stuffed horse's chest area, he placed the soiled stuffed horse on the top of a bed in a bag comforter set, contaminating that property also. Oh, oh man, that's, that's like went wrong. Yeah. 30. Thirty-five dollars. Yeah, I think he should have went back to the garden center. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Put it in the dirt. Yeah. If you're gonna jerk off in public, do it outdoors. <clears throat> in the garden center. Of <laughs> <laughs> right. Technically outdoors. It's yeah. a porch. Is a porch outdoors? Yes. Oh yeah. 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 
What Unless it's it? a uh, glassed porch. Yeah, if yeah. it's a glassed God. enclosure, then it's no longer outdoors. No, that's a sunroom, which is indoors. Go, <laughs> go if, the, if the movie Toy Story is true, and we have to believe that it is, <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this poor horse doll has the worst life in toy history. Uh, just Bumped down to Clarence. And then raped and came upon and left on a random bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, like, Toy the Story horror. 8 has to happen. <laughs> the horror movie? Like, Toy Story 8 is just a brutal fucking murder <laughs> slasher flick? <laughs> oh, man. It's just all the toys that have come on them. <laughs> toys with so cum on the story. <laughs> it's like true it? detective. <laughs> but this is a sexual fetish, though, isn't this? Uh, people who just come on uh, random dolls and things like that and stuffed well, animals. Yeah, well, uh, it's called waifu. Waifu? Waifu. Waifu pillows. These are people. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Waifus, uh, they're people <laughs> that have sexual and emotional relationships. Can you spell waifu? W A I F U. Oh, Japanese. So it's Japanese. Japanese. It's Japanese. I knew it. I saw a guy. <laughs> I who, knew it. Uh, I saw a documentary about a guy who had a relationship with his Volkswagen Beetle. Is that mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yep, these are uh, people, they have these pillows that are made up to look like anime or game characters. Right. And they have emotional and sexual relationships with them. You can even see pictures in Japan of men taking their waifus out to have dinner with them. Nope. Right. No, and do you have to buy the waifu dinner? Or do they, they just get to sit there and uh, take a seat? And if you want to take it all the way, you can buy it dinner. I think you have to. Yeah. If I ran a restaurant, I would allow people that come money. in, but you have to buy it uh, something or See, a drink. See, aren't you always, when you have sex with it, raping it? Because it can never consent. It's a pillow. But it can never say no. Yeah. yeah so how do you have sex with mutes? <laughs> oh, that's an excellent thumbs question. Up. They give you a big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, and they show you their tits and they give you a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they point at their pussies. <laughs> or dicks. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I need to meet a mute. They, do, uh, they point at their pussy, like, they give the no, no, no sign. They yeah. point at their ass and they give a they thumbs up. They give the up. thumbs up, Dan. Yeah. You're going to all Brown All right, town. all right. You're one crazy mute. <laughs> 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 uh, I gotta love the Catholic mute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy in a written station in a written statement said, "Quote: I did unmentionables to a stuffed animal, N noting that he committed a horrible act." Oh, come Johnson on, horse made those words that big. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, <laughs> he said. Uh, he added, "I need to think before what I do. I'm extremely sorry." <laughs> he's he's mentally. Like inferior. Here, right? that, look at the picture of this guy right here. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Ooh, yeah, it's yeah, tough yeah. to say oh, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He, no, he's he's slope eyed. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. yeah. That's the type of dude that like still rollerblades and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but he never awesome. he's good at it. So he's yeah. just all cut up. <laughs> yeah. Or he he could have been dating someone for like three weeks who was way hotter than him, mm -hmm. and then she broke up with him, and he just had an emotional breakdown and fucked a horse in Walmart. <laughs> it's possible. He seems like he's been arrested for slashing tires. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, he was charged with indecent exposure and criminal mischief. Real low bail, though. Only $1,500. But I feel like no one caught him while he was doing it, right? He got to walk out of the Walmart scot-free. He made it all the way out of the so Walmart. So if nobody saw him doing it, except for the people on the surveillance cameras, fuck them. It didn't happen. Well, no, it's well, there's the a cum-covered yeah. yeah. Right, there is a cum-covered doll. That's so problem. you go you know, and you honestly, take it out. But nobody was like, there <laughs> wasn't problem. a... There wasn't said it right. His big mistake was putting the thing, contaminating the other object, yeah, the right. non-clearance comforter object that probably cost you quite a bit of money. Walked, people if you would have walked up to the counter and paid for it like a man. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> It'd have been fine. But he probably can't pay for it, that fucking loser. <laughs> it's possible. He definitely looks like someone from Jacksonville. Where is he from? Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> Tampa <laughs> has the highest suicide rate in the country. Right. Actually, mm -hmm. he's from uh, Brooksville, 50 miles north of Tampa. Oh, oh that's yeah. worse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, if you work at Walmart, I don't think you get paid enough to tackle a guy fucking a pl plastic horse. That's the thing. Horse. No, you definitely don't, and you but let you him get finish paid up. to beat one up. That's because it's just... <laughs> It'd be fun, yeah. Go to, go to the uh, machete aisle we have the there. <laughs> Where you get to beat up customers who come on horses. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love this job. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many there are. Well, do, you, do, you think, do you think he was... Do you think someone walked up on him and was just like, oh, nope. 
Or do you think I he was just... I, I mean, this is the beauty of Walmart. Them. Walmarts are just little cities now. There's somebody shopping for meat. There's somebody in the camping section. Somebody is, like, take, taking their kid for the first time hunting, buying a gun. And then, uh, you know, 15 feet over, somebody's coming on a goddamn horse. I mean, it's really just a whole little world in Walmart nowadays. Yeah, I used to go there I would to hang out. I love to see out. the overhead shot of it, where a mother is just like, oh, do you want that new dollhouse, honey? And then, like, another guy, like, licking a fucking gun. And then a dude just fucking a horse. Yeah. It was, this was 3 p.m. on a Thursday. Right, and nobody saw him. They definitely saw him. You think so? People saw him. Without a doubt. Memories were created. <laughs> <laughs> some good, some bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm just happy somebody wanted this fucking discount horse. You know, that's kind of nice for the horse itself, I One suppose. One time me and my buddy went to a Walmart, hammered, 18 years old. Right. Uh, bought a gun <laughs> at 4 in They the sold it to you. They sold us a rifle, a 22 rifle. Hammered. We were 18, blatantly hammered, and they sold us a 22 rifle. <laughs> Good God. That's incredible. Go to what'd, Walmart. You, what'd you do with it? You went and shot it in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck else are you going to do with it? How much did you laugh? Oh, the whole, like, hours. <laughs> Days, I think, months even. Lord knows what happened Still to that laughing gun. now. That yeah. gun's a, a, a reckless beast these days. Yeah, it's probably You don't know people. where the gun went? It wasn't my gun. I didn't buy it. My no. buddy bought it. No. But I don't think he has it anymore. I don't know. Who knows? No. <laughs> well, I'm sure everything is fine with your friend and everyone who is He's been doing great. in contact that. with that gun. All right, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next news story. We've actually got some, let me see here, some parrot news. Oh, shit. Hey, hey. Right. Yeah. And in fact, it is African gray news. Oh, wow. Ooh, this wow. is amazing. You know, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> An African gray parrot that spoke with a British accent when it disappeared from its home four years ago has been reunited with its owner, and the bird now speaks Spanish. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> they don't know! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure no one taught the bird Spanish either. He was just out there in the streets like, yo, I gotta diversify. <laughs> if I'm gonna like, sell some of this crack, <laughs> I gotta learn Spanish. That's the sad thing is like, I'm bad at British accents and I don't know Spanish. Is this parrot smarter than me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are parrots smarter than humans? I could never learn Spanish. No, I mean, parrots, That's I mean, they're mimics. They know how to do it. Pretty much anything. That's what's happened in this country. Our parents Parrots don't even speak English anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, Mike. Damn, uh, the reunion was brought about by a Southern California veterinarian who mistook Nigel, an African gray parrot, for her own missing bird. Teresa Miko tracked Ni Nigel's micro trip, a microchip to Darren Chick, a Brit who lives in Torrance. Miko told the newspaper, I introduced myself and said, have you lost a bird? He initially said no, but he thought I meant recently when she verified Chick's name and said she had his African gray parrot. He looked at me like... Like I was crazy. He said his bird went missing four years earlier. Little is known about Nigel's whereabouts the past four years, but Chick says the bird's British accent is gone and it now chatters in Spanish. Wow. Does it, does he, is he sure it's the same bird? Short, it's got a microchip in its foot. Oh, wow. Yeah, because, that, yeah, that, you know, as we know, African greys are quite expensive. Does it remember uh, all the English shit or no? It remembers nothing of the English years. It only speaks Spanish now. It's so like a Pixar movie. So parrots are stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it only took him four years to forget an entire language. Yeah, and a whole life. And a family that loved him. Maybe he's just inconsiderate and smart. Yeah. yeah. You probably don't want to talk to my next man. Stupid piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, he doesn't want anything to do with him. Yeah. In fact, uh, Chick says last week's reunion brought tears of joy to his eyes, despite the fact that Nigel bit him when he first tried to pick him up. That's I can't fine. Deal with this the isn't this the bird. same bird. It uh, is the same bird. It's microchipped. You don't take a microchip out of one bird and put it into another bird. Why not? This bird has seen... This is a Pixar movie. This is a Disney movie. This is Fievel Goes West. I mean, this bird had a life, had an experience. They need to get an interpreter. What's he saying in Spanish? I have no idea. Exa the horrors! The horrors that he's seen. Uh, apparently, what he's been saying in Spanish is, now this is interesting. What happened? Whoa. What Whoa. happened? Yeah. What happened? Really? Yeah, that's what it keeps saying in Spanish Whoa. over and over. Said he was barking like the dogs. I'm from Panama, and he was saying, what happened in Spanish? So he just, that's a woman uh, looking over her dead uh, husband who has a knife in his fucking skull, being like, what happened? What happened? The horrors, this his poor African a witness. Girl. We've heard this story before. Yes, we put him on the, the stand. Over and over again. I put don't trust the bird. Why not? I think he's lying. What do you no feel way. about that, Kevin? 
Well, Holden just said that he yeah. didn't trust the bird. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it makes a lot of sense because there are a lot of birds that do eat lizards. So I understand. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Where he's coming Deceitful from, to the lizard since day one. All right? <laughs> Go to the Galapagos Islands. See the lies the birds tell the lizards. But yet the birds and the lizards were merged for uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah, I made a blizzard. Huh? You fucking idiot? <laughs> Good point, Holden. Good point about Eddie being a fucking idiot. I loved it. Marcus, what did you think when Holden said Eddie was a fucking idiot? I liked it. You I liked it. Kevin, your thoughts on it? It was a crazy twist. <laughs> Pretty oh, funny, God. Mike. You agreed? I liked it. And Micah. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Two <laughs> thumbs up. All right, Eddie. Funny se- funny sentence, like Holden. Go no. Oh, wow. Funny. <laughs> Go Give Noles. that one to the Knowles right the there. Followed up by you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You fucking idiot. Huh? You fucking idiot? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, do, do these uh, when these birds uh, mimic? Do they have any emotional attachment to the words that they're saying? No, I don't believe so. I think no. it's just a uh, they, response that they have. Yeah, I don't think stupid. birds have emotions. Yeah. Hmm, parrot emotions. Let's check it out. Let's yeah, check it out. I mean, what do you think? They get depressed. They must, that. right? Yeah. Everything has emotions. Oh, they no, peck no. themselves no, to death. Know. Racine, you're I Italian. You this. even have emotions. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> one would say maybe too many. I heard this video of a guy fucking a chicken recently, and it sounded like the chicken was, like, crying, you know, as the guy was fucking it. And so the chicken was happy and coming. No, it was, like, upset. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually, I know you don't understand this from your situations, <laughs> but usually when the woman is crying, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Right. Huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think, I think that, that chickens can feel pain. Like getting fucked by a guy in a video. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh, but I don't think he. I don't think the chicken was like, this. I'm gonna remember this for so long. Is the chicken aware it's on camera? Well, that was no John way. Waters' argument in Pink Flamingos when he had a chicken fucked to death on camera. He said the the, the chicken was a star, and they also ate the chicken. So that was did they? Split. They really? did. Yeah. yeah. Gross. Totally ate chicken. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do parrots have emotions, Marcus? <laughs> well, according to AvianEnrichment.com, no, this is biased. <laughs> yes, this is totally biased. They can express love. Nope. As oh. expressed by their eagerness to be close to their chosen one, desire to be touched, excitement when you enter the room and through their contact calls. Because they can food. feel fear. Primal emotion common to all animals hmm. that in birds triggers an automatic defensive behavior. They can they can do joy, loneliness, boredom, grief. What favors? They do favors? <laughs> <laughs> do no favors. Birds do no favors for anyone. <laughs> Anger and distrust, jealousy, many things. A parent often as depressed or listless when its owner or mate dies. But doesn't a bird generally feel joy at its ability to fly? Truly, it does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it must. <laughs> All right. How about lizards? Do lizards feel emotions? No, lizards <laughs> feel nothing. Oh, lizards no. Feel well, lizards feel, they feel greed and hate. <laughs> <laughs> These are kind of sub-motions is how I like to refer to them as. You know? Sub-motions. <laughs> I mean, the be- yeah. I mean, think about every reptile supervillain. They fucking all rule. Yeah. The and lizard. they're mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, they are. Um, all right. Very funny still about what you said about Ed being dumb. You are welcome. Um, <laughs> but let's move on to another story. Another, next news story. The American owner of a wildlife park in the Mexican resort of Tulum died after being kicked, bitten, and sat on by a camel. Wow. <laughs> Rescuers had Who'd to have thought of in the camel that got him? <laughs> in Mexico. <laughs> Rescuers had to use a rope tied to a pickup truck to pull the enraged camel off the body of Richard Molesky of Chicago. Molesky, he- tough name. Tough <laughs> name, Molesky. Yeah, I'm a move down to Mexico, shot me a fob. <laughs> Molesky's the kind of guy you want around when you have a flat tire, you know? <laughs> He's going to fix it in two seconds. Uh, the Tulum civil defense official Alberto Canto said, The camel kicked and bit him practically to death, and when he was almost dead, he sat on him. Between the blows and the weight of the camel on top of him, he was ex- asphyxiated. He said it was still unclear why the animal attacked Molesky, and authorities were sorting through a number of versions, including one that the animal was angry for not not getting a soft drink, Canto said one version is that the uh, victim would always like give Coke? the v- one version is that the uh, victim would always give the camel a Coca Cola to drink, and apparently that day he didn't give him Coca Cola, which enraged the camel to the point of biting the man to death. 
and then sitting on him, refusing to get up. Molaski? Molaski. Molaski from Chicago? Molaski. Molaski? Molaski. Just give him the Coca Cola. I tell you that right now, as much as I like sausage on a Bobby. <laughs> Sir, I'd like to buy some of your snake oil. <laughs> And this guy this guy's been just trying to feed his family, you know, opening a zoo down in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been caring for this camel for 15 years, giving it coke every day for God 15 damn, years. Man. Well, oh, why didn't he give it coke today? Yeah. No one knows. Maybe the uh, coke guy didn't show up. What's that? You're all out of coke? Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, does anybody want to link these two stories? The parrot saying what happened, speak Spanish, to this man at the zoo getting murdered by the camel. And can't we say that the parrot was kept by this man in his zoo as a parrot, saw the incident, what happened, what happened, returned. Right? It's too much for the parrot. You could say that. Yes, I agree. And it, it is, and that would be a very traumatic event for the parrot to have to see. A True man so. getting uh, sat on by a camel. I think it's also one of the funnier ways to die. I would <laughs> hate to post- die being sat on by a camel, you know, because uh, no one has sympathy for you whatsoever. The first question is, what'd you do to the camel? And in this situation, didn't fucking give the camel what the camel wanted. What the camel you needed. Be what the needed. camel came to expect. In That's life. right. Yeah. If you're not going to give a camel a Coke every single day, don't even start. I mean, That's why I don't hug my children. <laughs> Coke Cola doesn't go to a pillow. <laughs> Coke Cola is not for animals. Coke Cola is fine. <laughs> it could be. You know, this guy had a huge menagerie going. He said that uh, the. Uh, uh, Mexico's Attorney General Office for Environmental Protection said that there were 13 spider monkeys, six deer, two emos, emus, two llamas, and a wild boar being kept at the sanctuary. What a fucking shitty zoo. <laughs> no, wild 13. boar would be fun to throw beer cans at. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but you probably could. Do boars eat beer cans? Probably. Yeah. yeah well, I, was like, I know they get dry. I know they drink beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put a bunch of raw meat in them, they'll eat it. Yeah. Did I, ever, uh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I went to zoo in North Carolina? No. no. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm driving to the beach, and uh, there's a, uh, like, a peeling uh, sign that says zoo on it on the side of the road. Just zoo? Just zoo. <laughs> That's it. It just says zoo, and the paint's peeling, and it's made of wood, no lights, no nothing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you drive a little further, and then there's a picture, there's a, there's a sign that says zoo. And it doesn't tell you where to go either. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lion on this one. <laughs> yeah. I got to cool, go to though. zoo. Yeah. And then there's a sign that says zoo with an arrow pointing straight ahead. And I'm like, yeah, we got to go to zoo. <laughs> then there's a sign that says zoo and there's an arrow pointing left. So we go that way. And there's a bunch of little signs in this sort of like neighborhood that says zoo this way zoo that way <laughs> and we we drove into this like circular driveway with a double wide trailer and there's a sign that says honk for zoo <laughs> <laughs> he's running for u.s senate and uh if you would uh so we honked for zoo <laughs> and this enormous woman in a muumuu comes out and goes Y'all here for zoo? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, we here for zoo. And uh, she goes, it's $5 to see zoo. And I was like, you got it. <laughs> and uh, we give her $5 each, and she opens up this wooden fence, and we walk back, and there's like, there's like tigers and lions and bears. Oh my God, like where is this? In uh, North Carolina? Yeah, in, um, it's, it's shut down now. I did a bunch of research on it. Uh, <laughs> it was in uh, Bolivia, North Carolina. Bolivia. Bolivia. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, of course. So, so then she goes, you want to see me feed the lion? And I was like, fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> and there was a, uh, like a fold-out table covered in expired bread products and Little Debbie snacks. It's the Faircloth <laughs> Exotic Animal Zoo. Wow. And uh, she like unwraps like a ho-ho and uh, calls the, ti- the lion over and like throws it into its mouth and she's like well y'all have a good time and closes the gate and then we're just supposed to walk through and there was like llamas and emus and uh those big birds all caged um there's like a petting zoo area with like a little lamb that with its eyeballs were all the wrong way (laughs) it was like (laughs) 
<laughs> uh, essentially like, That's take me it. out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There was a, uh, there was like a, like a, a dried up lake bed with a, uh, a Russian boar in it. R U S H I N. <laughs> like a Russian around boar. Uh, and a bunch of car parts. Wow. Oh and, uh, so God. yeah, you just, you walk, and we walked through for, there's an RC. It's, kinda, it's like Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah. Bebop and Rocksteady from a that, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do they come yeah. from a zoo like that? No, they like to be around car parts, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's they, a good point, Ben. <laughs> Thank you. That is a good point. We all uh, know those boars love them tank tops, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough of them. Yeah, so we walked through for about a half an hour, and then we walked through this uh, fence, and we were back at our car, and it said, thanks for coming to zoo. That's cool, man. It was it crazy. What are you discovering the over there, Marcus? I'm c- discovering pictures of the uh, Faircloth Zoo. Oh, yeah. Is that, Is that it? it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah there's the dumb fuck. There's all these animals like the cups against the I know. They got bars. the worst life. Like, oh, a skinny lion. I never want to see a skinny lion. Oh, so I did research on it a couple weeks ago because I was going to do it on stage. and. Pigs. Uh, <laughs> there's pigs. Yep. Yeah, those yeah, are super there's a raccoon. raccoon. Feed the pigs to the lion. There's a raccoon. Why is the a picture lion of a raccoon skinny? above a tiger. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why are they even How on the same give... page? <laughs> we got raccoons and tigers. <laughs> we got both <laughs> kinds of animals. <laughs> <laughs> Some zoos. Um, well, it, it got shut down because the uh, the the guy. There, it was run by a married couple, and the guy like. Raped a bunch of people, ah. and, or, or like was accused of doing like raping people Jeez. that came huh. to the zoo. Uh, well, then uh. that story got different there because we were talking about animals, <laughs> yeah. and then and then now well, the it, man it, raped a bunch well, of people. They, they, they like they had Whoa. To, they got they got divorced, and then they they ran out of money, and uh, it shut down in 2006. And in 2011, there's the lady is still holding on to the bear. Like, hey, does uh, does anybody want a uh, a 600 pound bear? Because yeah. I can't seem to get this thing off my hands. And I made a mistake 10 years ago. Yeah, it's like getting That's a private great. jet, you know? It's hard but to yeah, get they, they, that. Uh, they Maybe he's the guy who broke into Walmart and came all over that stuff horse. Who knows? <laughs> that is sad. Yeah, it was uh, it was sad, sad and story. like I couldn't believe it was real. <laughs> Being there, I was like, this can't be real. That's so much fun. Now. So what you <laughs> do when you left? Did you guys report it or no? Uh, I went back a second time. With, yeah, you got uh, to different people. <laughs> <laughs> got to. Did like, she recognize you the second time? This. Uh, of course not. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why would she? She's drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's probably a lot yeah. of visitors coming in and out of zoo every day. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> and so no, t- at no time did the article the come into play when she was talking about zoo never and, and, and it never i mean it online it's referred to as the fair cloth exotic animal zoo yeah but they were they nailed it, it with the animals zoo. yeah and she yeah. said are you here for zoo y'all here for zoo <laughs> yeah. were her words exactly <laughs> yeah oh i love that what do you think about racine would you go to zoo would you like would you go off the road and yeah, probably. Why yeah, not? I think you got to go to a zoo. Be. I mean, I would assume that they would dress you up as an animal and then rape you and rape you and rape you and then you'd be dead in two weeks. That's what I would think would happen if you see a I, sign that says zoo, like with a it's with like an House arrow. Of of corpses. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much like every horror movie possible. Oh, yeah, I, would, I, I, I feel like your story has a happy ending because you found a zoo. Because normally you would, <laughs> you know, like if, <laughs> like if you just see the word zoo and then an arrow, never follow like, it. Like you walk never. in and it's just a bunch of like. People in uh, That's what I was bear thinking, costumes, like, like with matted. Yeah, right. You see, fur. or I was thinking, you see the tiger, you see the bear, and then you get to the end, and you're like, huh, what's this cage? And it's just a bunch of people in there. They're <laughs> right. all ball gagged and stuff. And then you turn <laughs> around and like new thunk, home. like you yeah. hit in the head with a hammer, and then you're now in zoo. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> because it seems like a bunch of sort of like mental, uh, mentally inferior I, people. I also read online that they opened before they were allowed to, and the problem wasn't that they had all these animals which they clearly couldn't care for right, right. it was that their bathroom their bathrooms weren't up to code but <laughs> they, they, the whole place is a bathroom it's a zoo they, they opened they opened by just putting up these signs all over the highway right like they just went they, like they didn't I guess, aren't you supposed to take out ad space? That's what got people to the Corn Palace in South Dakota. You know, I think this this is literally like the plot to a Goosebumps episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this exact, there was something where there was like a zoo or something that was like mad vague, and then they t- eventually turned the people into animals or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
You might have went into that. It might have been. You got lucky, man. <laughs> I love this idea. Five dollars is a good deal, though, for that. Yeah. Oh, it was I a agree. great deal for Zoo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I don't know the last time I saw a raccoon. I paid five <laughs> bucks for that <laughs> to see a raccoon. Why not? A lot of people. Pay you, get, you get to see it in captivity. You get to see it suffering in captivity, and yeah, you, you which is arguably and... better. Oh, yeah. right. You want to see your happy animals roaming, right? Especially see raccoons it. or possums. If I want to see a possum, I want to see it wrapped up in a net. Yeah. Screaming and fucking flailing its little stupid arms. I fucking hate yeah. possums. I know man. you do, Marcus. What's going on? Oh, I th- I found a uh, a story from 2007, uh, which said that two puppies had gone missing in this uh, area, uh, and a lot of animals were just kind of going missing near uh, zoo. Yeah, near zoo. Ooh. And many suggested that the predator that was roaming around the area had escaped from Faircloth Zoo. Wow. Whoa. Very interesting. And that was the male rapist? <laughs> <laughs> they said it was either a panther, a cougar, a larger than normal bobcat, a black bear, or even a wolf. Very they had cool. No clue. Yeah. They had no fucking But they said that uh, the zoo uh, shut down in like around 2006. Yeah. Does that sound about right? Yeah, and uh, they so uh, they don't know what happened to a lot of the wow. animals, so it might have just been turned loose yeah. out in North Carolina. So I'm there's sure. a lion in North Carolina right now just running around. Could be. Very cool. That's what happens in South Florida, man. They just release those animals. Yeah. Yeah. What else just, can you do? Like the, isn't like the fucking, uh, I think like a lot of the Everglades and uh, some other just like forested parts are just full of chimpanzees just running around just ripping shit to shreds. Oh, I <laughs> love it. Davies yeah. That's chips. why I always keep an extra yeah. bread loaf on me. You know, just to throw it at him. Is that why you keep that bread loaf on? Yeah, it's not to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, iguanas aren't native to Florida, but they're everywhere down there. And they grow to, yeah. like, six feet long. My neighbor Terrifying. had his leg, like, snapped. Like, one snapped his leg. Like, they can uh. put their tails at you and just snapped his, like, completely just broke his, uh... Yeah, iguanas are mean-ass bitches. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, no. who, who wins in a fight? Uh, an iguana that's six feet long or, uh, like, the alpha male swan? Is the alpha oh, male swan Guana. drunk? Guana. Guana. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the iguana. The swan's got the long neck. Very vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. But they Snap got those the crazy baseball bat wings. Yeah, yeah. And also, true. swans are fucking gay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they do ballet and shit. I yeah, hate but gay, yeah. gays can fight. Yeah, gays will <laughs> fuck your ass up, Mike. You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there are a lot of gay fighters out there. Um, all right, Marcus. What's another news story? <laughs> <laughs> the high school junior who allegedly had a threesome with two of his teachers is overcome with guilt after he says his bragging ruined their lives. Yeah, he I really heard about did, this man. story, he man. Really just should have kept his mouth shut. What a jackass! There's so many people have so many awesome. I had a threesome with two teacher stories that they took to the grave. You know, they yeah. only told people you t- wait a decade. How many decade. people have that story? <laughs> a lot of people, man. <laughs> I roughed up a couple years. of teachers myself. You man. roughed them up. I sucked a threesome. They were dry. <laughs> Their balls Marcus. were drained. <laughs> Scroll up so we can see them. Yeah, check they're hot. Yeah. The teachers are such a bummer. The yeah. so teachers hot, are very yeah. attractive. They're so hot and great. I want to give them a fucking yeah, they award. They got to go to jail. Yeah. Good a bunch of wow. Yeah. Well, what's the, what's the, what's this kid look like? Uh, I, you don't know what he looks like because you know, he's, he's a minor. He's a minor. Oh, no, we don't yeah. even know what his this. name is. He was 16 when it happened. The perfect age. Mm-hmm. Are they being oh. charged with um, statutory rape? Yeah. Jesus. The worst. The mess, and they're also awful. being charged uh, with another law that in Louisiana, the age of consent is 17. But uh, he was 16 at the time. They're also being charged because it's illegal for a teacher to have sex with a student under the age of 20. Wow. Oh, get out of here. One of them was married and... Wait, you wait so if you stay back like four years, you know. still can't fuck your teacher? Yeah. That's Whoa. Right. Wait, I just wait. feel like... Does this count for college students or only high school students? Only high school. It's probably like their student. Like they can't bang it if he's under 20. Right. No, if, but so not... Yeah. an 18-year-old high school sophomore. No, the whole point of... <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in defense of the system, in defense who, who, of the I system. I want to know who, but obviously you're going to brag about something like that, but I want to know who right. told on this kid. He told, but he's, he's, he's the one he who bragged. He bragged. He bragged. He bragged. bragged. Like, he bragged. Which but of his who, friends? He, he bragged. Who, who was the one that, table? like, who was the one that was like, oh, I got to call the cops about this? You know, I think he got out of control, man. The whole school was just buzzing. Yeah, His friends told their friends, and their friends told their friends, and then it got to the fucking nerd. And the nerd, <laughs> told. nerd ruined it. And there which wasn't an Eddie around to punch him to is death. Why nerds Worse should be than a bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, there wasn't rip one off one. all nerds' and lips. That's their mug show, <laughs> why didn't he just go to the teachers and be like, why didn't he just go to the teachers and be like, uh, 
This didn't happen, right? This is such a bummer. Yeah. Let's say no, this didn't he happen. He wanted it to be happening. He wanted everybody because to know what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, he's still angry. saying he, he feels guilty. He should have been like, this never happened. I was just being an asshole. I was, I was like, just trying I, to, yeah. Of course, look at these oh, teachers. I think they, oh, I was, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. There's no way they're going to take his hey, word. I made it up. You yeah. can't make your you can't take your word back and they have a lot of communication together. Yeah. Also, I feel they're like a kid to jail, though. They they're were in jail. jail. They're I don't in think prison. a woman can rape a man. I'm just going to say say that. Women Marcus right, is well, that's, not, do that, that, that's not a uh, <laughs> that, that's not a conversation for this this show. Right, but right, Mike right. let what everyone know who listens to this hard? show. Mike does not think that a woman can rape a man. What if she takes a a dildo to his asshole. Yeah, that's probably rape. But yeah. you know what? It's, if you, it, you know what? I actually agree. I don't think a woman can rape a man. Oh, that's hot stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, people are. People yeah, Ben, I'll like, edit that out later. No worries. No, I like that. <laughs> I actually like it. That's yeah. his tagline hot stuff. He's just trying to work it it's in somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I think, exactly. you know. It's like, comedy. What is she going to force your. Dick hard? Yeah, and then she can. Yeah, I've no, gotten hard for lots hard. of stuff I hate. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i definitely gotten hard times I wish I wasn't hard. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're shooting on a dog at midnight at a full moon. I'm sorry? Charge that dog. <laughs> yeah. Send that dog to jail. Yeah, Mike. Who's the, who's going to police the police? Who watches the Watchmen, Mike? Mike <laughs> Good point, Holden, and I think everyone's yeah, following point. it. <laughs> that is ideal. But, no, I mean, it, it, the male bummer, erection though. is out I mean, of our control. You know what, I think though? I mean, uh, honestly, I feel like consent should be, like, 16 for males, 18 for girls. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> impossible. Like, it's just like, it's yeah. just like there's no... But this this kid he wanted to fuck those. If I was he 16, had the best time of yeah. his life. Yeah. If I was there's 16, nothing wrong with this nothing. kid. And there's I had a fucking threesome yeah. with two <laughs> hot ass teachers. <laughs> there's right. not gonna, there's this, no higher you can go yeah. in life. No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. With life, they say teachers. if his life is ruined, his life is only ruined because he's peaked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. I was saying he ruined their lives. He's really still holding on to the pride of being like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, yeah. Ruined their. Do you know how much pussy this kid's getting around this school? Every girl in school is. Fucking this kid. No, one teacher is amazing. Yeah, sometimes like you all see a picture of the women who did it, and they're like dumpy ass broads, right? Hot but as fuck. In this chicks. situation, they're obviously Hot smoking. Fuck, yeah. Yeah. They shouldn't be allowed to teach that. You shouldn't. Uh, they should not allow women to teach. Nothing but ugly teachers, teachers. Yeah. Exactly. Only only teachers from now on. Only high school students should be hot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he probably had like a peach fuzz mustache or something. Oh yeah. my god, something. he was probably yeah. Just but they love it because it feels good he on the. Probably clip. had like a good job at Shoprite or whatever. He was yeah. probably I, deaf. You know. Yeah, probably saw him doing like mute. upside down like push-ups, you know. Oh my god! Stupid shit like that. Football player. That means they were probably football dyking, player. They were, yeah, they were probably diking out with each other too, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was a beautiful night. Oh, oh my god! I'm actually, evening. I'm actually sad. I have to, yeah, I this story go is go really upset. <laughs> I gotta go. That's the thing that that shit is never gonna happen for us. No, no, it's already too. It's been too late. Good night, Mike Racine. Everybody, thanks for being here, Mike. But yeah, this this kid's great. Yeah, I mean, it's he's just a, a champion. Shame. And the grandfather's coming out in defense of him. The grandfather, well, the grandfather uh, made a statement to uh, the Daily Mail, and he said he's really down about it right now. All boys that age want to brag about what they're doing. He didn't expect it would come to this. Man, man, not. Not. He's the but that also shows that he's a child, which also makes both of these women pedophiles. Because the no, man you're is just, obviously that's a not aware. He, he hadn't He's learned that lesson yet. Sadly, yeah. he right. learned it on these women. But that doesn't mean that he, you know, I don't know. I mean, a lot, you, you know, rape, rape. Oh, we're all rapists, you know. No, but still, yeah. I feel like Statutory. you come to a point where it's like, ah, did, you know, this wasn't rapey. These women should be let go. Where where did this happen? I don't know if these women need no, to no, be no, teaching, uh, like though. At, at school, at home. It happened a at a uh, home after a football game. Did his, the scientists... God damn it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Women, yeah, it's great. Are you serious? serious? Marcus, how old are the girls? <laughs> this has happened like three times in history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the only one we've heard of. Yeah, oh my this, God. Uh, yeah this happened at uh, one of theirs, uh, one of the women's apartments after a uh, high school football game. How old are the women? You peaked, man. It's... Uh, one of them is 32, the other is 24. God. I'm sorry, yeah. 32, so and you're banging a 16-year-old. Look at her, though. I don't know. <laughs> I feel I'm, like I'm it's surprised got, at she, you, man. I'm offended that you feel this way. I'm just saying, dude, it seems a little bit strange for this woman. What's wrong with her? If he, these women were men, they should be shot in the head. Yeah. <laughs> but if these women are women, and so they should be fucking free. Given an award. Yeah. 
30 yeah. years old. Yeah. We're she being feminists here. She got drunk. Yeah. She was with her friend. Which one was already having the affair with him, though? Because I thought it was one was having an affair with him. The other one joined in on this session particularly. Wow. See, I, I didn't know that detail about I it. Thought I thought that's they were what what both read. having it separately, and then they oh. found out that they both oh, were. Oh, that's... And then they oh, brought it all together. God, God has okay, so escalated. Didn't they just have to wait eight months until he was 17? Something like that. Yeah. How so? Just hold How on. Big is no, no, no. They would have had to wait three years because he was uh, a student. North but that, Carolina. It, yeah, but it's a different. How I mean, big is the sixteen-year-old's penis erect? Mm, seven and a half inches. Oh, At least, man. <laughs> Enough for two women. <laughs> so it's got to be. Where'd you get yo, that fact from, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Where'd you get that fact from? From the internet. <laughs> yeah, from online. <laughs> seven and a half inches. I can show his face. I can show a picture of his penis. <laughs> yeah. If we looked at it, we'd all we'd get arrested. Now we're the fucking bad guys. We're trying to look at this guy's penis. Oh, good point. Nightmare. Yeah. We're, it, we're, that is we're, we're living illegal. in a fucking police state. Yeah, what type of point. world is this, man? Jesus. Whole thing's falling apart. Dude, he's uh, sixteen, man. He's man. It's, <laughs> it's it's old, man. That's an old ass dude. Yeah. Yeah. Man, everybody's a loser and a winner in this story. If you can get well, a job, you should be kid, able to have a threesome with two great. teachers. Yeah. Right. The kid is no no. Yeah, there's no there's no no consequence for the kid. He just got a threesome with two hot teachers. Oh, he's a jerk. And for then he got him fired. Yeah. So no, he doesn't. He's not there's the no jerk. way that he wouldn't. I mean, he's no 16. Way, yeah. There's no way he wouldn't. You're definitely if I had a threesome talk. today with two teachers who would I wouldn't even they've never taught me. I tell everybody else. <laughs> no, I think I think a 73 year old and a 91 year old nun and brag about a threesome with two nuns. Oh, nuns? Mean, yeah. Why nuns? not? Yeah, yeah you, you just say nuns. Oh, man, I want some of that dirty, sloppy nun pussy so bad. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I would shoot a Jew to have sex with a nun. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> comments. Holy man. Jew, it's a Jewish Good Lord. Person. There was just no reason for that at Why all. Why did not, <laughs> That really is. There's, I mean, there's a lot of historical implications in that guy. Right. Yeah. That's so. Good Lord. Inquisition. I mean, wow. yeah. there's a lot of. You just say it if they're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> anyway, you know. Come on, man. And we all feel that way. We just wouldn't say it. Oh, <laughs> my God. That's wrong with you. I think it every day. At least a couple times a day. Oh, my. I don't say that. You're like this kid. Stop this talking. Blabbering and yabbering <laughs> over here. Uh, Good Lord. When, when you talk too much, it always comes down to that, doesn't it? There. Holy Lord, Holden. Let's do one more news. <laughs> Let's do it. One more. A hotel guest has been arrested after an alleged incident of aggressive mopping. John, John Thornton paid a visit to the Doubletree Hotel in Bristol, Connecticut, and reportedly got irritated with the way a cleaner was mopping the floors. The 30-year-old is then said to have grabbed the mop and cleaned the floor himself, but the police report into his arrest said he was mopping aggressively and started cleaning the hotel employee's shoes multiple times. Thornton then apparently stopped his mopping, but backed the original mopper into a corner, leaving her, quote, shaken and crying. Oh, police man. She was call. probably mopping like a fucking shithead. <laughs> sounded like she wasn't doing a great job. I bet he did it. I bet he mopped the fuck out of that floor. <laughs> yeah, that's I thing. will say that. Why didn't, why didn't the guy move his feet before the guy mopped over him? He knows he was mopping hard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, step outside as right. the man's doing your job. Yeah. Right. Uh, have a smoke break. That's what I'd do. Yeah. This is a weird story. I yeah. gotta mop the fucking floor right. One what are you two. doing? I mean, I think... Uh, <laughs> so what, the guy was super drunk? No, he was totally sober. But the guy wasn't mopping right enough for him. He didn't like the way she the guy was moving. She was probably mopping the walls, mopping the fucking lights. Yeah, everything but the floor with these people. <laughs> oh, it was a female mopper. It was a female mopper, A female yeah. mopper. Yeah. So this man was trying to show her that he no loved her. No mopper in fucking light on Rosetta. That is exactly how they sound. Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> Wait, who's That's they? what this what guy is, the white guy yelling at her. <laughs> That's. Yeah. Well, I feel like I should be in timeout. What? Yeah. Should I be in timeout? No, you're not in I've timeout. Said. Eddie's about to be in timeout. I'm great. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit good. there now. <laughs> I like that accent he just did. I don't know what, what accent it was. Set that. That's a white man yelling at a Spanish woman. That's Rosetta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Rosetta. Yeah. Rosetta it's a out mean on a date, white Ed. man yelling at a Spanish woman. It's not a bad Spanish accent. Right. It's a good accent. Yeah. Because For the it's, racist it's, white guy. Exactly. Right. Yeah, Who, yeah, was yeah. this guy just? Where is this? A hotel? This is a hotel. He was in just Bristol, state, Bristol, Connecticut. Staying at the hotel. He was just staying at the hotel. He walked past a woman who was mopping. He became enraged with how she was mopping. Took the mop from her. Mopped. Cleaned her shoes. And then backed her into a corner, yelling at her. He didn't clean her shoes he got her shoes, shoes all wet. wet yeah with dirty mop water yeah yeah that's 
something else is going on. <laughs> what happened in this guy's happening. in this guy's day that made him go? He probably God a, damn it! You're not mopping right. <laughs> Maybe he's <laughs> got Who knows? The trade show didn't go well for him. He Couldn't lost a good it. mop job. The guy didn't sell any boats. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. So what is being what, uh, what is he being charged with? Uh, he's been charged with menacing, I believe. That was definitely menacing. Yeah. No, Mopping. second. He's being charged with second degree threatening. What? Second what degree is threatening. That's what threatening. Threatening. The law? And breach of the peace. What? That's breach. definitely a breach of the peace. Yeah, I, I fucking that. hate that. That makes me sick that those two things are laws. Second degree threatening. So all those times that you tell me you're going to kill me. Oh, yeah. my God. I can't wait to your First dead. degree threatening <laughs> yeah. is when you plan out how to threaten somebody. I guess. And then threatening is threatening. And yep. then second degree threatening is thinking about how you don't like that person. And it's a specific to uh, Connecticut. These are Connecticut laws here. Of course There's it is. threatening. For second degree threatening, he could face up to a year in jail and a $2,000 fine. Good. Uh, he needs to learn his lesson. You can't take somebody's mop and mob around. That's not <laughs> I what mean, you do. all he did was mop. I uh, bet you inappropriate. The hotel manager was probably happier with his mop job than her mop job. Probably. Doesn't matter. She was hired to mop. He was not. He's just a guest. Yeah. You don't go into somebody else's house. He's going above and beyond. Take he out their, the their Swiffer and, and swif, swif in the corners. God, I'd love if somebody would do arrested. that. Yeah. All my guests come over and destroy my apartment. Not if they're right. yelling at you and hitting your shoes Oh, I don't with the care. Swiffer. They can ruin all my shoes. No, yeah, yeah, clean the floor if or ruin swift, the shoes. If they swift you into a corner to the point that you're crying, they need to go home. <laughs> I haven't cried that's in years. I would birthday. love a good flow. Yeah, that's a terrible birthday. <laughs> yeah, well. Your house is a wreck. <laughs> I could go for a good cry. We got to get you crying. What makes you sad? What makes you sad, Ben? Nothing. Who could we kill make you sad? I ran into oh, Mara the other day. Does that still upset you? <laughs> no, that never even Just upset me. We never even had, we class. haven't, we've never, we've never cried once together, me and Mara. <laughs> never, well, you don't have to cry together. I mean, never you, once what, did I cry over her at, at all. What about, what nor about did her she crying. for me. <laughs> she didn't cry for you? Nope, nope. That was a, that was a total malaise. That was just a neutral situation. <laughs> malaise. What if, I, uh, what if I cut down all the trees in your neighborhood? Yeah. Mm, don't like the trees care. that much. I don't okay. He's not big on trees, but if you shut down all the cheese shops, Shops and all oh, the bodegas. Yeah. Right. I can't afford the cheese, so that actually made me happy. Okay, but Throw the bodegas. The, ham. the ham's gone. What's the ham? Yeah. Doing the your gone. meats, your sliced meats. Well, then I don't know what I'm going to eat. What if I started a uh, fire in your refrigerator? Yeah. We need to burn it down. We need to burn it down. Mm -hmm. oh. And it's there's nothing in there anyway. Yeah. Well, right. there's a bunch of stuff in there, but it's all bad. Uh, you it's know, this whole bad. experience has made me want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, the good. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> when I just realized that I don't care if everything goes away. What about cancer? <laughs> Was I can't wait to get it. <laughs> <laughs> God, God damn, damn it. it! It's time for a segment from Old McNeely. <laughs> Haunted house with Holden McNeely. It's a smoky. Um, <laughs> we're all gonna come up with different haunted houses, and uh, we're gonna try to make each other a bunch of scared little mouses. All right. <laughs> it's one of those episodes. Oh all right. Uh, all right. I'll start. Marcus is a multi billion dollar haunted house producer, and he will afford multi -billion us. Multi billion dollar. Yeah, how did that happen? House he, does, he does Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, I'm good at it. He does The Rapist <laughs> Dungeon in Jersey. Mm -hmm. That's his very scary one. Yeah, yeah. Gambling. <laughs> he does. He does the Hobo Haunted House in uh, Jersey. Uh, Kalamazoo, uh, Wisconsin. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so Kalamazoo. he's made a lot of money. He's made billions of dollars on this yearly venture. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll start. I mean, I think my haunted house is similar to the one I described kind of brilliantly in the beginning of this episode. You walk in, there's poopy on the walls. A you guy can't comes just repeat it, though. So yeah. you actually have a you have to have a new idea. Okay, so we're doing um, <laughs> nuclear power plant. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everyone's a mutant, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and they all have fish cocks. Ah. Like <laughs> fish head. They'll pretty much just put fish heads on their dicks, right? Great. And wa waggle them at little kids and stuff. <laughs> Good. It's illegal, but we'll do it in Mexico. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No, can we can we do it on the islands that we uh, put our other illegal ventures on? Sure, yeah. The yeah, cocaine yeah. factory and yeah. the gun house. All of Ed's uh, monkey restaurants that we're not allowed to have on the Absolutely. mainland. Absolutely. Yeah. Monkey restaurants. And that's the thing. It's Don't go the into the monkey but room. But it is land. <laughs> Don't worry, you can show up. <laughs> 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 we'll have a monkey room supplied by Ed's restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't want to go in there because you will get your eyeballs ripped out. Yeah. 
uh, on the you roof. God bless it. Pull it together. On, yeah. the, on the roof. <laughs> I'm up on the roof when you get to the end of it. I'm on the roof, no pants on, drinking cold fucking brews. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just sit down and have dinner with you for a half an hour. If you make it that far, you pussy. And that's the whole thing of it. You get up on the roof, you have dinner with me, and the rooms before that, it'll just be like really cheap and they'll get really mad. Because yeah. I want them mad when they get up on the roof. It'll be like a pla- one plastic bat will pop out yeah. in one room. Holden's going to eat all night not have any pants on. So exactly. He's keep shitting in the shitting same it. spot. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Just taking it down and be like, oh, walk with me into this corner, into this scary corner, and it'll just be a fucking pile of my dumps, you know? And then I'll play Trip the Boy, put his face in it. <laughs> it's a it's a Halloween horror theme show. Yeah, the it's room? or it's a scary house scary that you'll house. go to. It's definitely a scary house. Definitely. Yeah. What's definitely. Its, what's his name? Um it's it's uh called uh Being My Girlfriend House. Ooh. <laughs> and that's the thing, if you make it to the end, you have to be my girlfriend for a week. Oh, very exciting. A, a so lot of people if, want that. If you get a few people to the end, like say five people make it to the end, they have to are, schedule it. Yeah, and so it's going to be like consecutive weeks, like or, or all five of them at one time. Um, five on one. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to be in a barn. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Lights out. I'll have night vision goggles. They can't <laughs> for a wear, week. Yeah, for a week. <laughs> they can't Jesus wear. Christ. They can't. They cut a hole out where their penis goes, <laughs> or vagina. But I doubt any women will. Be. How many? How many exits are available in this house? They're called egg sits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're <laughs> eggs. <laughs> okay. And they don't lead out. <laughs> <laughs> It's shitty and bad. So that's the thing you got to remember. I know they're all going to maybe say some funny right. shit or whatever. Or right. it might be creative. But mine is like straight up a shitty bad experience that is it terrifying. Is. It is. And you don't get out until Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hold yeah. on. You don't? Okay. If you Okay. Your options are to make it all the way through and be your girlfriend for yeah. a week. For a week in a barn with and the lights out. The week out. after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Or die in this place. Or die. Die in the place if you, yeah. I mean, definitely, you can die in the place. You go to I mean, a die in the place. Then die in the place. You're allowed to die in the place. So there you go. I'll give that to my fucking idiot <laughs> right. venture people who are customers, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Future victims. Great. Very cool. All right. Very nice. So <laughs> kind of a fun little uh, how to become Holden's Doctor girlfriend. Doctor says my penis situation. looks like a dog's. <laughs> it gets it's shiny and red. All right. Barbed. Uh, I just, wait, hold on. I just, cause I, man, I had zoned out in the beginning of it when you were. You gotta make a haunted house. Make a haunted house. Oh, right. haunted yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, all this shit he's saying is crazy. But like, <laughs> 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 all right, uh, well, yeah, I get, I get, right, give me a second that I gotta. I don't, kiss when you wanna go. What do you got? I mean, I don't even know. Uh, no, you don't know. I don't know. You run a horror podcast. This should be the one you win. Nay. Um, <laughs> haunted house. I don't like haunted houses. So what do you do? Do you have a, a masked uh, man in there? In a or haunted a, house? Yeah. Uh, is there a smoke machines? What, I give feel us like good, my Kizzle. haunted house is like you get a ticket and then... Um, <laughs> It's for an airline, and then you go on the airline, and then the airplane lands, and you're in Baltimore, and then you just have to walk around. <laughs> it's pretty frightening. And uh, uh, and then about Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrifying. It's you have no weapons. No one tells you where to go. You're just in the ghetto of Baltimore, and then 12 hours later, the plane will take you back. Yeah. Um, so whatever happens, how much happens. does the ticket cost? I, oh, the ticket's very expensive. <laughs> uh, you know, it's probably about fifteen hundred bucks for the experience round trip. Yeah. Uh, but you got to buy your own food while you're there, and um, <laughs> and you know the whole two hundred dollars. The plane ticket couldn't cost more than like four hundred dollars. Yeah, let me see how much. Let me see how much a yeah. flight to Baltimore. I'm go but ahead this and is say a haunted house. It's a haunted house situation, so you're paying for the experience, um, and then we'll take you back. I think that uh, <laughs> overall, maybe, I don't know, like the streets are full of nice people, uh, and, but they, they, they want to kill you. <laughs> nice people that want to kill you. I feel like that's kind of tragic, you know, if you're walking down the streets and everyone's smiling at you, but they're also like, you know, holding knives. 
Um, it's kind of fun there. We're going to let this one die. Uh, We're going to sit in silence. I can get a flight to Baltimore for $500, yeah, Ben. Where's my $1,000 going to? It's in the experience. Food. 500 bucks to Baltimore? Yeah. That seems expensive. That's, that's real expensive. Uh, I mean, if, that, that's no if, we're, if that's if we're going on Halloween night and, like, leaving next week. It should be cheap. But I think it's just one of those places where it's so close that they're like, oh, you're an asshole if you're flying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's you what should it just is. take and a And you have to go, you, if you have a bad body, you have to be shirtless. But if you have a good body, you have to be really clothed. <laughs> uh, so no one likes the, that. Micah? I, th- um, I don't think Ben's done. <laughs> no, he's done. There's a lot of things. My so girlfriend tell you about says my I have the torso of a drowned man. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you look so bloated. Skin kind of comes off sometimes if you get intimate with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Micah, what do you got for us? Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> that was awful. Uh, okay, so uh, mine is called um, the Moose's Butthole. And uh, what it is is like a soft, uh, fleshy entrance that's like touching uh, itself. <coughs> and you have to slide through. Mm-hmm. Lubricated? Uh, it's totally lubricated with gasoline. <laughs> and uh, you like, so it like smells good on the outside. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But when you get in, it smells like a moose's asshole. You're right. And uh, the it, you just walk through the moose's uh, intestines, and you see all the things that the moose ate, like, ah. uh, like a wrench, <laughs> or a um, <laughs> like a mummy. <laughs> or, uh, so it's a big moose we're talking about. Oh, it's a huge. Must moose. be really big, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a mummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you you walk up through the moose's uh, stomach, and it's uh, full of acid, and there's like. Uh, there's pe- a bunch of people in there. Yeah. Uh, and they're um, getting burned alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and oh, people can be burned alive in mine, too. Oh, yeah. That's you're Baltimore. going to Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's and good. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, when, when, you walk, uh, when you walk up through the throat, uh, somebody uh, lights you on fire. Because <gasps> mm-hmm. uh, you're covered in gasoline and, and uh, I moose, about that. moose butthole yeah. material. <laughs> And uh, then you walk, you walk uh, out the throat, <clears throat> and you walk out the tongue, and it's like a bounce house. Ah, oh, that's and, fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Uh, and then put you, a bounce house in mine too. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, we'll and just then put you, it in one of the many vacant lots. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, you go out, and then they uh, they hose you down with a fire extinguisher, and then they give you a necklace with a moose tooth around it. Nice. Uh, and on the back of it, it says, "I survived the moose's butthole." <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, I mean, it's got thing. gasoline and fire, so I'm liking that. And the whole thing takes about uh, about a half an hour to get through, so it's a pretty pretty reasonable amount of time. How much is the ticket? Uh, twelve bucks. So oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 12, totally very reasonable. reasonable. Yeah, it's a reasonable price. For senior yeah. Bring your best gal. Can yeah. senior citizens go on it? Oh yeah, they have to. So it's not that dangerous. <laughs> oh, so it is that dangerous. <laughs> they're forced to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Wherever wherever this is, they they they're required to bus. Uh, people from nursing homes <laughs> to come through the Mrs. Butthole. That's was it a scarier. euthanasia type thing? Or what, what's euthanasia that? type thing? Uh, no, just gasoline and uh, and uh, moose. But if they uh, die, they die. Uh, yeah, I mean that's the case. Them's the rules. Regardless. Waivers, waivers for everyone. There's, right. Yeah, you got to have waivers for this because we're lighting people on fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ed Larson. Well, you know me. I like you know. I like good monkey time. Right. Okay. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, well, we, we were talking about monkey Ebola earlier. Is the Halloween the, is the haunted house called monkey? Good monkey time? Uh, no, it's called uh, the United States of Monkey Town. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I feel like that's been the title of another one of your. <laughs> Maybe it has, things. but this is showing you what it would be like. No, well, I could do a uh, control F on all the documents that I've typed over the last four <laughs> years, and I'm guaranteeing you the United States of Monkey Town is going to come up again. Well, yeah, you know, definitely, it's a weekend pass, and you oh, got to, you oh, got to, wow. yeah, That's you get a, you, know, you get it. It's a weekend. You get fed, you know, bananas, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and lots of bananas, banana pudding, banana Ooh. whatever, but. uh Basically, we're gonna have the monkeys in the monkey. Uh, they're gonna wear, be wearing hazmat suits. They're gonna have the monkey hazmat thing going on, and they're gonna drag you in there, and you're a prisoner, and you're a prisoner in the monkey world. As soon as you walk in the building, the monkeys run everything, 
You know, time doesn't exist. You're fucking it's plenty of apes. Wait, time doesn't exist? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if I, I mean, just, I mean, I guess if you could count it in your head, but there's no way that you're going to be able to know any other way. No we're clocks, t- no watches, we're like no Vegas. phones. Yeah, we're taking your phones. Yeah. We're taking your pants. The first thing we do is rip <laughs> off the pants. Okay. Yeah. And you know, Dickie's hanging out, puts his hand out, you know, all that stuff. Monkey, all right. monkey grabs you, and starts. He puts this little. Uh, they got this like collar with a stick attached to it. <laughs> and they put it on your neck. Uh-huh. You know, they're, yeah, they're, Planet of the Apes style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And it just push. sounds exactly like Planet of the Apes. Yeah, yeah it's a lot like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're, they're, they're be dragging you around. They're going to take you and they're gonna put you in a cell. And in the cell is a bunch of other normal human beings who don't think they should be there like you. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be like, why are we in here? I don't know. I just want to go haunt a house. I want to go haunt a house. And that's what everyone's saying to each other because they're all scared and they're in there. Then the monkeys come. And they're in the hazmat suits. They might be humans. They might be not. But you can't tell because you just see a monkey mask behind a hazmat suit. Start throwing bananas at you. You got to eat them because, I mean, let's face it, you're hungry. <laughs> and at this point, I mean, it's been hours. And, right, right. Know, time goes by. Time goes by. Then you just have to start learning the trapeze. And you got to start learning, like, monkey behavior. Monkey mm-hmm. teach you to dance. Yes. Exactly. And this is all over the course of a weekend. A weekend. <laughs> and if you don't get right. it right, I mean, they they bite your lips, they uh, rip out your eyes. Monkey behavior. I got yeah. it. So it's a reverse. It's a reverse. <laughs> it's a prison. Right. It's a, it's a prison, but you pay for it. Right. You just, you don't commit a crime to get in, but you spend money to get in and to live like a monkey. And when you come out, if you win, you come out strong. You come out monkey strong. How do you win? By making it By just making it Surviving So most people die I mean You don't die As much as you Just never see it again Ed, Marcus, when add, you... add monkeys to my thing <laughs> Add monkeys to your yeah, thing you Ed, got it. When you get drunk And you start talking About monkey behavior yeah. my, my fear becomes real Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ed, I want to do it <laughs> And you say All these people to me They look like you <laughs> <laughs> I, got, huh? I, have a, I have a quick follow up What's up? Uh, so in the uh, holding area at yeah. the beginning when everybody's let the in tank. There. The we tank. The tank, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and nobody wants to be there, right? No one wants what to be there. What happens if you throw a human in there and he's like, oh, hell yeah, I'm here for the United States of Monkey Town. Well, then you bring in all the monkeys to rape them. Oh, <laughs> then he gets monkey raped. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, okay. uh, Kevin? Kevin, what do you got? <laughs> okay, so my haunted house, man, is going to be, is called, you know, very simple title, Kevin Barnett's Haunted House, right? Very nice. Outside, very scary outside. Before you get in there, dudes, chainsaws, blood is all over the place, all types of scary things. It's donation. You can give no money or as much money as you want, okay? But then you go inside the haunted house, and you find out it's actually beautiful, hyper-realistic paintings of nature and trees and serene music playing, and then you realize that the slogan of my haunted house is actually expect to be frightened end up enlightened. (laughs) Yeah. So you leave feeling really good and this all this all helps to promote my new self help book, which is called Luger Logic. Kevin Barnett presents T D Jakes don't stress yourself. <laughs> best yourself. Very long title. Don't wow. stress yeah. yourself. Yeah. Best yourself. Where did all this come that. from, Kevin? <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I'm feeling, man. I'm feeling That's hard. Want to help you? Positivity. It sounds like the spa star. castle with a haunted house front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's right, great. I mean, that's a good place to rent to do this. God, I feel <laughs> encouraged though. Add that to mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, TD Jakes. TD Jakes. I love TD Jakes. Sure. One of the best preachers around. We'll add TD Jakes in yours as well. All right, Marcus. Marcus. What do you think? Bud. Who you know, Kim Barnett's Town House. That sounds great. Yeah, uh, it does. I mean, it's very inspirational. It's very nice. But we are going for very much a haunted house. We, oh, we've been doing haunted oh, houses man. here. I we, wanted to go to your place, Kevin. I know I wanted and you know Kevin's what? place. And you know what? We can do that under my self-help wing okay. of my okay. empire. Of course, you all know yeah. I'm a multi-billionaire. I've got Absolutely. a lot of different things sure. going on. I got a lot of some of it. So what I'm going to do? I am actually going to be giving you some of it. For we are choosing the barn. Yeah. The barn, oh. you morons! <laughs> wow. All right, thank you so <laughs> much for listening to the round table, everybody. And I really want. Oh. oh. All right. Oh. Ed Larson, Hulu Neely, Kevin Barnett, Micah Sherman. Thanks so much for oh. coming. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Miami has the Dolphins, the greatest football.
football team. They take the ball from goal to goal like no one's Cut ever seen. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Nice work, everybody. Shermanator, sure thing. 